how do we understand pca pca in this particular diagram says the following consider a spherical ball and uh, the spherical ball is homogeneous in every dimension whichever direction you go you have to cover the same distance from the center to reach the uh, periphery and uh, so what we say is information is there in every direction so what happens here in that case is data is in all directions and we, when data is in all directions and all the directions are important like the case as you see this tennis ball whichever direction you go there is the same amount of distance that you have to cover but that is a unique distance you slightly change the angle you will cover again another unique distance so what happens in such a case is when all the directions are important the same same amount of information in every direction the data reduction may not be possible that is the reason why we need to first understand how do we kind of test this sparsity of data so let us take a look at a diagrammatic illustration of principal component analysis if data is in a, there in every direction and all the directions are important which implies that each and every variable in the data that you have is unique and uh, the correlation between all those variables is virtually zero but then each and every variable remains to be important and so data reduction is not feasible so how do we understand this particular concept we understand this particular concept by looking at a spherical ball the spherical ball is the same in every direction and it is unique and uh, so the dimension reduction is not possible in the case of a spherical ball so this is the intuition behind using a bartlett sphericity test to test whether the data can be reduced in dimensions or no so the second example that you would look at here we look at a american football and uh, look at this american football although we have three pieces of information x and y z x y and z the information of this football is only in few dimensions let's say for example take a look at the information uh, that is present in this american football more amount of information is present is in this dimension and the information present in the other dimensions is lesser so what happens here is if we combine this x y and z in some linear manner and that linear composite is transformed to this direction to this direction and the transformed variable captures the larger amount of information that is present in the data where the variance of the data is higher in which direction the variance is higher along this green act line that you see x star that x star is labeled here we see in that direction the variance is the highest so what we try to do here is what we do here is we combine this x y and z the data points using some linear transformation and the linear transformation will kind of transform the data to in such a manner that the first principal component measures the first principal component measures the variance in the largest direction and then once we have done that this amount of information to that extent is subtracted from the data is removed from the data and from the remaining data we next search for the direction in which the variance is the highest and that becomes the second principal component say for example here in this one you see the y star although i understand that it is similar in all the other sides in remaining two sides but imagine for example it is possible that information is more uh vary it the information is more in this y star direction so the second principal component tries to capture this direction of information so again this x y and z are combined in such a manner that it tries to explain the remaining amount of information or variance in the data and the highest variance in the remaining piece uh, remaining amount of information is y star so the second principal component will try to 
point in that direction and will capture that information. And the third one is the remaining direction. Okay, so to understand principal component analysis, imagine a simple football or a tennis ball. This it's like a sphere, and every direction is important, and the dimensions cannot be reduced. However, and so the ball can generally be thrown in any particular direction. Say, for example, the ball can be kicked in any particular way, dynamics would be the same. However, if you want to throw American football, it has to be held in a particular manner and then in that manner we will try to cap in order to cover the largest distance you have to throw it in a right direct, right manner okay so the best way is to hold the ball in this direction of throw and then it will cover the largest distance right so this cup captures the highest amount of information and this information is the direction in which the first principal component points to so it's like a kind of saying where is this information present and if the information is present in this format of American football then we clearly say the first principal components points in this direction then the second principal component and the third principal component are perhaps the same and they point in the different directions okay so the data reduction is possible in this case the data reduction is possible in this case